if you're saying this would save billions of dollars, why do we need to raise taxes? Because that's a hard sell for a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. when we have the huge deficit that we have to say, you know, let's just raise the taxes. Right. And that is a, a, that's a difficult thing for, for many people to hear. And that's what some of the groups that will be coming out saying this is unaffordable, all they're going to point to is that we would have to um, raise taxes. But what they're not talking about is all the money that people save by not paying premiums, co-pays, co-insurance, and deductibles. Um, so yes, there, there is a pro, and, and what that progressive tax is replacing is premiums, co-pays, deductibles, all the things that get in the way of people actually using health insurance. Because the other thing you have to understand here is that not only does it, would a single payer Medicare for all insure everyone, including the people who right now have no insurance, it would also improve the benefit package for people who including the tens of millions of people who currently are underinsured. These are people who qualified for insurance through the Affordable Care Act, or maybe they've got good insurance, you know, decent, whatever that is, insurance through their employer. But when they get sick, they still say, well, you know, I've got that $500, $5,000 deductible, and that's going to come right out of my pocket. So... Uh, you know, I'm having a little bit of chest pain, but, it, you know, I'm going to just hope that it's heartburn. So how would it be otherwise? How would it be the single payer? How would it be different? Well, if I don't have to worry about co-pays and deductibles, if there are no barriers to care at the point of service, if I'm a 64-year-old woman with a family history of heart disease and I start having chest pain, guess where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm not going to scratch my head and say, well, maybe it's heartburn and, you know, gosh, I've got a $5,000 deductible and I don't want to go to the hospital and find out that I have heartburn and come home with a bill for God only knows how right. much. My niece right. took her son to the hospital when he fell in the tub and needed three stitches. She mistakenly took him to a hospital that was the closest hospital rather than her in-network hospital. And she walked out an hour later with three stitches and a bill for $2,000. Wow. All of that goes away if we have a national health program because there are no barriers to care at the point of service. 